best seen, The Seven Circles, Resurrection of the Stone Council. Exterior, The Stone Council, Night. At sunset, the crowd is gathered in the Stone Council. Everyone who has heard Tristan has arrived in Gongardium has come to see him. A group of airbender elves on white griffins are flying above the Stone Council to warn people for possible attacks. The land keepers, the water wilds, and the lords of the forest are keeping watch around the council. Everyone has taken their place. Neil and Tristan stand next to Grian. The same debate about Neil continues where it left. Galanders don't want Neil in the stone council. Whippet from the water wilds yells angrily. Have you forgotten how they damaged us? How many people have to die with those fire metal balls? Sounds of approval come from the crowd. Grian tries to calm people. I'm sure it's not more damage than Lord Carcass gave to the council, Whippet son of Soriat. Besides, this young master is apprentice of Yornas the Wise, who was our ambassador in the Dayland. He is still a Daylander, Brian. So what? You are a Nightlander. And you are full of suspicion, even of your own people. All of you, my friends. Grian looks around. Everyone in the council peer at Grian. I can just hear, you all think Son of Myrus is a savior. Yes, the prophecy is true. Son of Myrus is here for the rebirth of the Seven Circles. But he is not our ultimate savior. The crowd whispers. He can only succeed if the Seven Tribes' energies are together. As you know, the three of them are no longer part of the Circle. We should help Son of Myrus to complete the Circle. What do you expect us to do, Grian? Do we have to kneel in front of Lord Carcass and tear to share his energy with us? The water wild people laugh. Tristan doesn't like Calcidius's sarcastic talk. They stare at each other. We thought our great savior, son of Mirus, was born with the power of seven circles. But I can see that his mother's worthless blood makes him powerless. He will lead us to catastrophe. The disapproving voices rise from the other clan. You talked enough, Calcidius. How dare you speak that way about my mother? This is the truth, boy. You'd better get used to hearing it. Tristan raises his hand to attack Calcidius. He also defends himself. Grian holds Tristan's arm to stop him. Tristan, don't let him provoke you. Tristan gets his hands down, looking at Calcidius in anger. This kind of talk is not welcome at the council, Calcidius. Tristan can only use the power as long as there are energies. We all want Gongardium to go back to its old days. But unfortunately, we cannot win this war if we put everything on his shoulder. My friends, we must put our powers together to fight for our own liberation. There is a short silence. You have unusual tactics, son of Myrus. The people of Forest are on your side on this battle until our energy is exhausted. Airbenders, come round in your way and become one with the power in the battle. You showed us the impossible could be achieved in these dark days, your glimmer of hope. The land keepers will be honored to fight with you, young master. Everybody looks at Calcidius, who keeps his silence. Even you carrying the power of seven circles, the power that the ancients have bestowed on you, cannot change the fact that you are a child of a mother who lost her reputation, and a father who is a daylander lover. Water wilds don't need salvation from your hand. The disapproving voices rise from the crowd. You're making a mistake, Calcidius. It's a suicide. When the time comes and your people are exhausted, your energy will be gone. Is that how you thank your ancestor? By seeing the Chosen One as an enemy? Our decision is final, sorcerer. As water wilds existed with dignity, no to go with honor. All the water wilds evaporate. Grian yells. Fools. Suddenly, Tristan's chest starts to hurt. He holds his chest while painfully kneeling down. No one understands what's happening to him. Tristan's hardly breathing. Grian figures out and helps him to get up, nods him to show his tattoo. Tristan takes off his shirt. Around the circle tattoo on his chest, the clan symbols of airbenders, the lords of the forest and the land keepers who choose to be united on the battle have taken place on the tattoo. Everyone who has seen the tattoo on Tristan's body begins to kneel in front of him, leading by their leaders. 
Tristan looks at them with surprise. When Dasha and Grimmy kneel down, Neil tries to lean, but Tristan stops him not to do it. Tristan looks at Grian, who is smiling at him.